Finally, after two weeks, the weather is nice enough to fly my drone. I know some of you guys have been missing that. So here we go with the vlog. Let's get started. That failed. All right guys, so welcome to the vlog. I know a lot of you guys have joined up on fscsocial.com, so if you have done that, thank you. If you have not done that, go to fscsocial.com and get into the conversation. I'm on there all day long. It's the best way for me and you to talk one-on-one -on -one and also to talk with stylists from all over the world. Now today on the vlog, we did a really fun medium length textured shaggy haircut and we used our new tool from Mizutani, which I've been wanting to show you guys this tool. This is the Cosine Razor from Mizutani Scissors. I'm really excited to do the haircut with this razor today. I've had it on the shop for a couple weeks, um, available for you guys to purchase, and I know that you guys have had a lot of questions about it. So, uh, biggest question that has been out there is, is it the same feather blades uh, that you use in a feather razor? Yes, uh, the blades are the same. So you purchase the feather razor blades, they fit in this. The difference is the way that it holds the razor, there's a magnet inside. So it has a nice slide to it. Um, so it's easy to remove, but then the blade stays in place really well. Also, the big key benefit of this is the design. It's all handmade, um, it's stainless steel, it's got that balanced feel to it, so it's just a more comfortable way of cutting. So it's a very luxury tool for you guys. If you're looking for a new razor, um, definitely check out the Cosine Razor on freesaloneducation.com. This is the haircut that we did. So here is the haircut. It's got a lot of texture, like I said, medium length, a um, lot of layers, a lot of movement in there, a nice cool little fringe in there. So we did this all with the razor. I think you guys are gonna like it. Let's get started with our step-by-step. -step. I'm gonna walk you guys through the entire cut and make sure when you're done, go to fsesocial.com and join our community page um, because I'd love to chat with you guys about this cut on there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Here we go. All right, guys, so we're gonna start off our sectioning with a center part. What I'm basically going to do is build triangle shapes off of the center crown of the head. So we start off with our center part, then I go down, I take the division point of the head, um, and I separate the front and the back of the haircut. So it gives me uh, a quarter panel of the head right now. Then I split that in half, that gives me my triangle. Um, I'm going to twist that up and away, and that's my first triangle section. Then I go down, uh, the next section down is another little triangle. I twist that away, clip it away. Uh, now I have two triangles in the front of the head. I'm gonna spin the head a little bit so you can see there's the division point. So you should have two triangles on the right hand side of the head. And we're gonna create two more triangles on the left hand side of the head to complete our sectioning. So there's another triangle going from uh, the center crown down to pretty much the recession point of the head. And then the other one goes directly down behind the ear uh, following the division line. So now we'll twist the hair up and away, clip it nice and tight. The reason I like to do this is because this really separates all of your sections, gives you a clear path of where you're going, um, and really maps out your entire haircut. So now we're gonna go directly down center back, vertical parting, uh, split the two sides in half, and then I'm gonna go from the occipital bone over to behind the ear. That is a, a good division line for me when I'm working with a haircut because I know from the occipital bone down, I have completely different angles of the head than I do from the occipital bone up to the crown. So I like to separate those two sections, um, makes it easier to work through the back. Now. A lot of you guys out there, sectioning it has everything to do with just staying organized. It has really nothing to do uh, so much with the outcome of the haircut. You could create any haircut without sectioning at all if you want to. Why I section is just to keep um, myself organized and to understand the shape of the head. So now I'm using the cosine razor, which we talked about before. Um, the feather razor blades, you can see that it uses the standard feather blades. I change the blade pretty much every single haircut depending if I have a, a fine hair client or something like that, I might go two times with the razor blade, but those razor blades are so cheap, um, it's worth it to change your blade every cut, have a nice sharp blade. Then I use the Donald Scott Prepare, which is a liquid tool glide, allows the razor to glide through the hair, gives the hair condition, um, so it really preps the hair really well for uh, razor cutting. All right, so now we're gonna start cutting. I'm gonna start using a small stroke with the razor. The smaller the stroke, the more line you get. So what I'm trying to do is build a nice solid baseline. Um, it's gonna have a little bit of a shattered feel because of the movement I'm making with the razor, 
but uh, still a nice strong line. So I go all the way through the back creating my guideline. Now I'm gonna work vertically with half inch sections coming straight out from the head. The reason I didn't do head sheets on this particular haircut is because I feel like it's a pretty clear view of how we're doing it. Every bit of hair is coming straight out from the head, creating more of a balanced feel to the layers in the back. Um, and then when you get to the corner, it's still coming straight back to you. So just everything back towards your body, um, holding the section vertically and cutting it. If you want the head sheet, definitely if you go to FSE Social, when I post this video, I will post a head sheet that you can um, save on your phone uh, for later on so you can look at it and watch the video at the same time. Um, so now I'm gonna work into the top. The top section, everything above the occipital bone, I'm gonna keep that same angle. So what you're gonna notice and what we've talked about in a lot of past videos is I'm using a heavier stroke with the razor because I want a more shattered feel. You also look at the elevation. In razor cutting, you're not necessarily gonna elevate the hair really high, it makes it a little bit harder to hit with the razor, but if I go with a heavier stroke, it gives me more layers and more freedom in that section, if that makes sense. So I'm still working vertically, still bringing everything back towards me so my my shape is staying the same it's staying balanced in the back but if I didn't go in with the heavier stroke of the razor I would definitely have a heavier um, back feel to the haircut because the the angle shifts so much so I want to keep my body position the same on both sides uh, as I'm working through the back here so um, I worked on the left. Now I'm scooping the hair when I move to the right because I want to move that new hair towards the guide. We talk about this in every single cut. You always want to comb the new hair towards the guideline so you're not moving your guideline from where it lives. A guide is not a guide if you move it. Um, so I definitely want to keep that guide where it sh should be. So I'm scooping the hair underneath, over directing it right back towards my body, straight out, straight back from the head, um, which is gonna push a little bit of weight into the corner behind the ear, which is great because that's where it starts to get weaker um, because the density gets less as the hair works up around the ear. You can see those layers, they're really cool. I know when I was doing this haircut, everybody in the salon was like, ooh, this is really a cool cut. So I think a lot of you guys have been asking for this kind of shag feel to a haircut. Um, so this is uh, going to be really useful in the salon. So now I grab my guideline from the back. So I'm just grabbing in the back corner of the hair. You don't want to grab too much because you do want to have a clear um, point of where you want the length to be. So I can see the length falling out right now. And then I go in with, a again, a heavy stroke with the razor, um, trying to just break it up and add that movement and layering throughout. So elevation still straight back from the head. So if you look back at some of my old videos and we talk about creating a more balanced shape, um, I worked in the back of the head, pulling everything back towards me for the back. Now when I go in the side, I'm pulling everything straight towards me as well. That's gonna give me that balance feel throughout the entire head shape. Um, great thing about creating balance in a haircut is that it creates a really strong foundation. So if you create more of a, uh, a haircut that's pushing the weight towards the back or pushing the weight towards the front, um, a lot of times those are not going to have as strong uh, of a feel. So when we talk about curly hair or straight hair, this is a great curly haircut because it's going to have so much structure built into it um, as I work through. And you'll see, you can kind of see the wave right now on the right hand side as it's sitting there. This is a really, really great haircut for curly hair. Um, we're going to blow it dry straight at the end. Um, for doing some more dry cutting techniques, but think about this if you were just to diffuse this out right now Those layers would really come to life. It would be a really nice cut So again when we move into our top two triangles, this is where we're cutting the fringe This is probably the trickiest part because the angles are a little bit different I grab my guideline for my length so that guide uh, shows me where my length's going to be, and then I pick where I want the top length to be of the haircut. So I want it to rest right about the bridge of the nose, um, in between the eyebrows. So I go in with the razor. I work on my elevation. So the lower I have my elevation, obviously the heavier the front's going to be. So I'm going to go with a medium elevation in this haircut to make it nice and light. And then I work that point, and I slide my hand out to leave the length. So I'm connecting the two points, the point at the very beginning of the section and the point from our guideline at the end of the section to finish off the front of the haircut. Same thing on the opposite side, so pulling everything out, medium elevation so it's not too heavy, um, but it's not too layered either, and we just finish it off that way. 
So we take the clip out, you can see that shape, you can see how it builds up in the back. Um, it's a little bit longer in the front weight-wise, but not length-wise. Uh, and now we're going to use our Bricado mousse to go in and start off the blow dry. Love this mousse because it's nice, it doesn't have that sticky feel to it. Um, so it's going to help me with this style uh, for sure. So once I get the product worked through the hair, I'm going to go through, I'm going to do a flat wrap blow dry technique using the Ergo um, paddle brush and also the Ergo blow dryer um, just to get all of the, the base of the hair nice and smooth working with the round of the head. Then I'm going to go through with my Vibra Straight Iron and just polish out the ends. So during the blow dry, I'm working from the base to mid shaft, just trying to polish it out, get rid of any of those calyx using the flat wrap technique. And then I go through with the Vibra Straight Iron and just polish those ends off. What you can see with why, why I smooth the hair before I cut it dry is you can see that shape in the back, how it kind of builds up with the weight. You can also see a little bit of heaviness in the front. So now we're going to go in with our Mizutani Puffin Scissor. This is a dry cutting scissor. You can see how thick that blade is. That blade it gives it the power to slide through the hair, but also it gives it a lot of power to cut through dry hair. So the slide cutting technique is definitely a visual technique. So it, there's not really any structure involved. What you're doing is you're looking at the weight, how it's distributed throughout the haircut, and then you go in and you slide cut through. I'm trying to create more movement in the layers and some shorter pieces throughout the haircut. It's gonna really assist in the shag look to the haircut. So I'm just going through all of the front face frame and cutting it. Plus, we did hold it with the razor. We held everything at a, a medium elevation, so we did get a little extra weight in the front. So I just go through a little bit of slide cutting, um, and it creates those nice short pieces, takes out some of the density in the front of the haircut. So we're finishing up around the face. You can see the movement in the layers, making sure that I stay away from the length. I don't want to cut into that. And then same thing around the face, more slide cutting through there. Now we're going to create a different type of slide cutting uh, around the face frame. So I just comb the hair towards the face and I slide the scissor in to create that pieciness. Same thing on the opposite side, comb the hair towards the face and just slide the scissor in, um, creating separation in those layers. So the thing I love about that is that when the guest goes to style their hair, um, as soon as they put a product in there, those pieces are going to define themselves. Now a little bit more slide cutting in the very back. This is where it was the heaviest part. So where we did the heavier stroke with the razor, you can see that there was still a buildup of weight in there, which I actually really like in this cut, but I just go through and slide cut to break it up. Now we're gonna use our medium hold Bricado hairspray. You can see those pieces of the face frame already start to separate as soon as I hit it with the spray um, because we've cut them in there. And just finishing that up, spraying into the fringe. You can see how nice and light the, uh, the front of that haircut is now we go in with maximum hold hairspray just to finish off the look all right and i hope you guys like this haircut definitely let me know in the comments below and uh there you go all right guys so if you like this haircut then make sure you go to fsesocial.com join it's free there's thousands of hairdressers on there from all over the world and let me know what you thought about the haircut and uh, start sharing your thoughts your work your pictures your videos everything that you guys are doing because i want to see what you guys are doing as well so thank you guys so much for watching and always supporting go to fscsocial.com thanks so much for watching bye